Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to recreate that email flick here in Proto.io. Okay, so this is the editor and let's get going. I'm going to start off by adding a status bar at the top. I'm going to customize it with uh, a different color. I'm going to use this hex value here, uh, move it to my save colors. And next I want to add a nav bar. I'm going to choose that one and just drag it into place and now customize it. On the left, I just want an icon and I want it to be that particular blue. And on the right, I don't want anything for now. And on uh, the title, I want it to be a Google web font. And I'm going to choose Open Sans. I'm gonna add all the different styles here to the project. And I'm going to choose the thinnest weight, 300. Okay, and now I need to bring in my own assets and I'm going to add a few containers to do that. And so I'm gonna start off with the archive button, uh, which is gonna be 220 width by 180 pixels height. And I'm gonna use the image component um, to bring in the assets. Okay, and so I'm just going to drag in all the ones I'm gonna be using for this component. And I'm gonna upload the files. Okay, so I'm going to first select the archive button, like so. And since this is the same size as the annotate, I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm just going to rename it. Okay, hit OK, and replace it with the annotate button of the same size. Okay, now I need to add one for the email itself. Okay, and that's going to be 640 width by 180, okay, and I'm just going to now bring it in, like so. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the uh, main inbox screen and I'm going to now add those containers to the canvas. I'm gonna start off with the email one, like so. Just snaps into place and then the annotate. Just gonna drag that over there. And the archive, and like so. So, and I'm going to change the stacking order so the email is on top, like so. Okay, so now I need this to be able to drag. So I'm going to hit the drag feature, and I just want it to drag horizontally in the entire item, and I want it to contain it just to the bound of 200, which is the amount remaining after the two buttons of 220 each. Okay, I'm going to hit save and preview. And see what we got. Okay. And okay, just gonna drag it over. And there we go. Now I want to have the email and the buttons fade out when I tap archive. So I'm gonna go over to archive um, and going to add interactions. And so I'm going to add the tap interaction. And I want it to animate by first fading out. And so I'm going to choose the fade. I'm going to fade it to zero, but only about 200 milliseconds. And then once it's faded, I want it to move off the screen for the other emails that would come up after, uh, as this prototype is fleshed out. So I'm going to add a callback. Um, I'm going to animate again, the same item. Uh, this time I want it to move uh, off the screen to negative 640. And I want the Y to be the same. It doesn't need any animation because it's going to be invisible when it does that. Hit save. Now I need to add another interaction to make the annotate and archive buttons fade. And I'm going to first start by fading out the archive, uh, sorry, the annotate button. And so I'm going to animate the annotate button and fade it to zero. That would be 200 milliseconds. And after it's done, I want to have a callback where it then animates the archive button to fade to zero, also 200. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to save, save the project, and refresh. Go over, tap, and there you have it. Thank you.